fucking game. Like, what the jazz? Anyway, yeah, man. Let's let's uh, let's do some emulator madness on Friday. We'll play some bloody roar. We'll go through with bloody roar one, two, three, and uh, the cube version. I don't. I don't. Even, maybe we'll. I don't know. Does my Xbox emulator work? I don't even know if I could play the uh, the uh, what's it called the Xbox version of it, which is crazy. They done unanimated my anime fighting game. Um, is my uh, is my network on? I don't know, buddy. Uh, set up internet connection. No, 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 no. Easy. Now we're going from bloody roar to bloody ring, right? Okay, we're we're cooking with gas now. Yo, Jake and Dozy just became a brave on God. Dish is the Elden Ring. Ring. This is the Elden Ring. <laughs> Actually, we gotta watch some donkey videos. Hold on a second, <laughs> Jake Doski, you done ruined the stream. <laughs> Yo, this is the Elden Ring. I'm sensing that the Elden Ring is in this very room. Maybe a cheer. Elden Ring ahead. I'm getting close now. Oh, definitely, definitely Elden Ring is right, gonna be right good, though. over it. Oh! There's a fence. He's powerless with the, by the, the fence is gone. The fence is the gone. The fence is gone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, You were simply no match. I've beaten every dark soul. <laughs> Don't kill. <laughs> this is normal. Too late. Dumbass, you can never reach me up here. Oh. oh! The bear is one of the dumbest animals in the animal kingdom. God damn, I have not gone to this part. Don't kill. <laughs> Where's Elden Ring? Where's Elden Ring? <laughs> Batman, I beat every Dark Soul. Who the fuck? You're not even in this fight. Lobster battle. Yeah. Look at him go. Ow. Boom, and you're dead, and the lobster is one of the dumbest animals. And he has a second face. That bear scratching cheat reminds me of the scene in King's Quest V where Graham punches, gets punched in the face by a bear. It happens. Did you see those two guys like practicing in front of the bear? One guy was like punching the guy's stomach. The other guy's hanging on a tree, and then the bear is in the background, like <laughs> helping them out. Why does a normal enemy have a second face? That's it. Now you guys pissed me off. God. Where am I? Where am I? Who am I? Did I win or lose? Am I alive or dead? Look at that. Look at That's that. That's gotta be where Elden Ring is. That's gotta be That's where gotta Elden Ring is. They kid pulling that Street Fighter V Maybe it's at the bottom in of the King of Fighter All-Stars? Yeah, yeah, Thank he God definitely this guy's is. already dead. He may be big, but in a game like this, the bigger you are, the more damage you do. <laughs> Is that a ring down here? You know what? You are a big, big dick. You know that? And you know what? I hate Elden Ring. Why don't the shitty enemies ever die to fall damage? This game sucks. No <laughs> item ahead. No item. Yep. The bigger no, you are, yep, the more damage you, know. you do. And that's how you know. <laughs> yep. And yep. And that's how you know this is where Elden Ring is. Yep. Okay. Donkey is definitely my favorite YouTuber right now. I don't know. This guy's hilarious. And here we go. And here we go. Where the hell is my item? Baba Binka, Jaja Binka. Don't kill you, Bobakin. Don't kill. He missed. Dang, everybody, this guy sucks ass at Elden Ring. Uh-oh, fireball. Fireball. I'm a ball. How did that work? <laughs> this place fucking sucks. I hate that. I hate that. Nope. <laughs> this one. Big ass ball. Here I go. Here I Banjo go. Banjo music. 
<laughs> Big mode. Here we go. Do it again. Do it again. I don't uh -huh, give Funny a Dark shit. Souls 2 reference. I don't give a shit about basketball. Now come and kill me. If you got the balls, that is. Yes. <laughs> Got him. Hey, Tony, get it? Because, hey, you got the balls? Because a big, big ball hit you on the head. Do you get it? Because a great big fucking ball hit you on the head. Do you get that joke, Tony? Because of Oh! Really, Elden Ring? Really? This is the guys you're putting me up there against? There you go. Come on now, Elden Ring. Put me up against a true battle now. Fight the big balls. You gotta fight the balls? I think I just figured out how to beat Elden Ring. Just do that move. Well, Elden Ring should be. Is, is that oh. an invisible man that can backstab me? A visible Andy assassin. Andy can fly? Andy has a million health? Dip. Die! What the fuck? What the fuck is this? The fuck, the fuck. Die, piece of shit thing. Ghost God. dwarf work. And there's another one. Okay. <laughs> he's in front, he's in front. Direct all firepower to the front. Oh, no. Now he's on the right. Now he's over there. Okay, now he's behind me. This Jesus. Is this is fucking stupid. Okay. I do not want to fight this guy. Okay, now he's to the left. No, no, go back. Go back in the laser. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to use the environment to defeat your enemy only to get killed anyways. The real soul experience. That happened to me at least like 10 times in Sen's Fortress. I shall become Elden Gord. Now die. No, roll, no, go in it. Go in the laser. Thank you. No, go back. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> go back in. Go back in. There you go. There you go. Now just stand there for like an hour. No, no. Go back. Go back. Yeah, the roly poly -oly. All right. I'm back. All right, beat him. This guy fell to his freaking death. I want that to happen when I get to that ball. Mr. Giant, shoot me with your biggest gun, Spider Man, you piece of shit, stupid Elden Ring game. I hate this game. Oh, shit. Live and learn. He's still going. He's still doing it, huh? I'm gonna kill him. The Elden Chest. That's where it's stored. <laughs> Do you guys know where Elden Ring is? Check this out. Whee! <laughs> that looks pretty fun, actually. Dick it does that I do that. And... Nope. Come on, Spider-Man. I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. Jesus, I want... Dude, that moment looks really epic. I can't wait to get there. Well, I did a little damage. Oh, my God. The legendary long-tail cat talisman that renders the wearer immune to fall damage. This is giving me a funny idea. Okay, well that was a fucking shit. That was a lie. Final boss. He's not the first boss to fall in his to his death. In Dark Souls 1, Tarkas can knock the, the iron golem off of the fortress, and it's one of the most badass things in any Souls game. I don't know, man. I'm thinking of Bloodborne. There was this one guy with a Gatling gun on top of a rooftop. Shooting at me every time I entered Old Yarnum. Just shooting at me. Killing me from every direction. Because he was so high up that he could shoot me from anywhere. And this is a whole area. This is a whole city I'm in. He was just killing me from every direction. Bro, I finally made it to him. I'm like, I'm going to kick this guy's fucking ass. As soon as I get up that tower. I finally make it up the tower. This guy rolls right off and kills himself, bro. It was the most cock-teased. <laughs> it was like the biggest amount of blue balls. I was like, what the... <laughs> How did you die? How did you kill yourself? I wanted to kill you, man. I hate... And he would, like, like taunt you when he kills you, too. He says some shit like, yo, stay out of old Yarnum, you mark. Like, he would say some crazy jazz like that, bro. And didn't even get to kill him. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Cool. Thank you, Elden Ring. Where is the bullshit word? Cool. I like to die. Then I don't have to play the game anymore. Oh, I see what they're saying with it. You gotta jump over. The fuck is this? Will you just give me the goddamn onion ring ready? God. That boss is stupid. That boss is fucking broken. That was the most... The final boss kind of looks like sexy uh, Ganondorf from like the fan art of uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Stupid, broken, bullshit boss I have ever seen in my entire... I don't mind seeing the final boss either because in the Souls game, it's not really about like seeing what the boss looks like. 
It's more or less about actually the experience of fighting him. Yo, this man took so long to get there. The old hunter said, fuck it. I'll murk myself. <laughs> Yo, that guy pissed me off, bro. He killed himself. Do you guys remember that stream, bro? I finally made it up. I think that I think I have the video of that, that VOD of that of that point. Also, I'm pretty sure the cat ring or whatever that prevents fall damage only prevents fall damage that wouldn't have killed you. Like fall control spell and dark. So that's kind of stupid then. You know, I mean, if it wasn't gonna kill you to begin with, then what's the point of the, the fall damage thing? It should be I don't know, that's that's kind of dumb. There's a second phase. Awesome, a hundred missiles that block onto me. Cool, amazing, you have a laser sword. No, no, no. And no, no, oh, and he's doing the sword at the same time. Oh, I love that. Fuck this shit. Ragagon <laughs> of the Golden Order, I command you to stop. Okay, he actually listened. This has to be pre patch or something because the boss just completely stops fighting him. He's, he's not fighting. He's not fighting back. He's just standing here the entire fight. Okay. That, that's actually pretty awesome. Right. Yeah, it's pre-patch. Because fall damage dark, so there's some right, bullshit. You lose like half your health that's for falling 10 feet. Fight. Elden Beast, I command you to stop. Wait, what? It worked? What a lucky guy, bro. What a lucky guy. It worked again? <laughs> what? I think he got it a week or two early. Okay. He must have. He must have. That, yes. As a, that, as a big YouTuber, he must have got it early. It. Final boss. How convenient. Thank you, that Elden Ring. I guess. There it is. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. I win. This is dumb! Live and learn! Hanging on the edge of tomorrow! Live and learn! Alright, enough living and learning. Hold on, hold on, hold on. J Alucard sending me jazz on. On freaking uh Oh, you got Bloody Roar? You got Bloody Roar on GameCube? Yo, Alucard, that's a good fucking game, bro. Bloody Roar on GameCube is a good game. We're gonna play it for Emulator Madness this Friday. We're gonna play it. I got those. Is this the Elden Ring? I like Donkey's voice a lot, man. The guy's dope. The guy's dope. The guy's dope, delicious. This must be the Elden. Are you the Elden Ring? <laughs> I love that guy, man. I love that guy. Living. Li I don't even remember where I was at, bro. I'm just like wandering now. I, I'm I'm wandering around aimlessly. Yo, I got a bunch of old ja old jazz. Uh, a fighting game nerd. You are a fighting game nerd, and you know that's, that's why we keep you around. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. That's why we keep you around. We gotta keep you around. I think tomorrow we're gonna play some KOF though. I haven't played much KOF, and I'm dying to play it. But I'm very, very. This game ruined my KOF, man, because I was, I was in love with KOF, and then this came out. I was like, nope, you gotta play me now. I'm like, I'll flip flap. All right, where should we go? I mean, we're just like wandering around and jazz. I still got uh, the beginning game armor. Same here. Yeah, we're right, Jacob. Those keep, these games took our lives away. Let's go. Let's go by this tree over here. Actually, it's like I'm looking for like a castle or something to explore. How do I get to this island over here? Yo, told you I made the right choice getting this over KOF. Yeah, Suki. Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. You're right. I got both, but you know, just by happenstance, I happen to have both. Let's see. Where can I go? There's like a little house over there. Yo, I can't wait for the day you stream Dark Souls Remastered and you finally understand all the bullshit I've been putting, I've been talking about for the past month. Past month? You mean the past couple years, Tokzuki? Oh, I can't go over there. Okay, no going that way. I don't know how to give up on that bridge. All right, we, you know, we, we out here. How the hell you get up there? I went all the way to the top of the study hall, and there's no way on top of that. There's no way from the inside to get on that bridge from the looks of it. I guess I can't just get go there yet. Unless Soki knows where the Elden Ring is. Let's see, man. Let's see. Who's this guy over here? Oh, it's my buddy. Rocky. 
Come here. Give me the Elden Ring. God damn it, he's gonna disappear. There you go. Yeah, Sombering Smith. Oh, what the jazz? Who was that? Yo, we got a whiz robe over here. Hey yo, whiz robe, where you at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. God damn it. I gotta follow the glitter? No, he doesn't even doesn't even like show up. Where you at? I'm not gonna tell you because spoilers. Nah, past few Dragon Quest is my Dark Souls. Uh, blah blah blah. Oh, he was a, he was a weak. Look at a little golden tree over here. Crystal Bud. I'm about to smoke this jazz. Not past few years of Dragon Quest. My Dark Souls has only started after I started replaying it to cope with not what being mate <laughs> with being maidenless, not being able to play Elden Ring. Uh, let's see. Okay, get back on the horse. Just let's just find somewhere to go. I have no idea where I'm what I'm doing right now. Just wander around. Maybe I'll encounter something. Maybe I gotta go up these rocks up here. Pass the butt to me, Merv. Yeah, Jake Doski wants the butt no. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What's up here? Uh a fall to my death, apparently. I should have had the cat ring, right? That would have saved me, Takzuki. Okay. Well, there's a connecting cliffs right there. Maybe over there I can get to that bridge from over there. Do I have like a safe spot that's close to that? Study hall entrance up here. Whoa, it was a wolf. Hey, guy. I don't really want to fight you. What was it, my friends? No, where'd you get that information? I thought you had the P a PS4. Get it on that. Who, me? Or Takzuki? Takzuki, you got you got a PS4? I don't think Takzuki has a PS4. Uh, Final Lost Grace. What's this over here? Oh, that's just one of those troll stones. You live and learn. You hanging on the edges. Because whoever told you I had a PS4 is a liar and a scoundrel. It probably was Alucard, man. Alucard's been spending a lot of rumors about Taco lately. How do I get up there? Artist Shack. I think Artist Shack is on top of the cliff there. Mm, but there might be a castle right here, too. Uh, let's try. Let's go to Artist Shack. Yo, I said he had a Commodore 64. And also, probably he smells like pee. Yeah, the liar does smell like pee. Yeah, liars usually do, man. They usually do. Yo, any rumors about me? Yeah, Alucard knows a couple things about you, Jake Dosky. I don't know if he's going to say it out loud. He probably will. He does that. I don't have any either. I don't have that either. You know what we do have? All right, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. I go, I drive by Symphonta's house the other day, and me and Jake Dosky find this old retro gaming thing, like this thing from like the 70s or whatever, uh, Vortex console. And I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell? It's in somebody's garbage. Like, let's close the Symphonta or whatever. So I pick it up, take it back to the studio, post it on Instagram, and then Davis hits me up like, yo, he's like, dude, I just checked that. That thing is worth like 800 bucks on uh, on uh, eBay. I'm like, what the hell is it worth 800 bucks? I found this thing in a garbage can. <laughs> I was just going to keep in the studio like as, as like something cool just to have in the studio. Thing is worth 800 beans. This shit's getting sold. <laughs> this shit's getting sold, man. <laughs> it's cool having retro vintage stuff in the studio. You found a rare soldier boy? No, it's like some... I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on camera so you guys can see it. It's, 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 it's like, what the hell? Who threw this thing away without checking the eBay price? Uh, what direction am I walking right now? Uh, I think that is the way to the castle right there. All right. Who the jazz threw that thing away? And didn't check it. Retro gaming is so expensive right now. If I don't sell it, it's probably going to be worth nothing in a couple years. Oh, this, this, is like a, this is like a fight zone. There's fire on the floor. What are those? Are those peeps? Oh, that is peeps. I don't have any throwing knives. <gasps> fire slug. Hit you with a motherfucking lightning slug. I have a Super Nintendo Game Boy Color, a PS2, a Xbox 360 that doesn't work anymore, DSi, 3DS, a Wii U, and a Switch. 
Save them. Yo, I wouldn't sell that shit in a few years. It could be worth 10K with how tech is going. Nah, the price is going to go down on retro gaming soon, bro. I bet you. That bubble is going to pop because they're pricing. They're overpricing shit that doesn't even need to be overpriced. The, the retro gaming bubble is going to pop, bro. It's, it's, it's bound to pop. There's no reason Sonic 2 should be selling for like over a thousand bucks. Sonic 2, you can find that in anywhere. That's not even like a rare thing to find. Mario Brothers 1, there's so many copies of that in the wild that like it's ridiculous that they are pricing it so high. And there I know I saw the, I saw who it is. There's a specific company that they are jacking up and ruining the retro gaming market by overpricing things on, and selling them. And they're buying it themselves with their own money from people that they know. People have been stealing the sealed ones. The sealed ones are worth a lot. The sealed ones should be worth a lot, obviously. But uh, an open copy of Mario Brothers, that's not a rare find, bro. Those are everywhere. So, like, it's ridiculous that, that these people are driving up the retro gaming market for their own profit. And it's like, it sucks, but it's like, it's happening. Oh, somebody's back there. Who back there? These guys got fu fire stuff. What's up, guy? Uh oh, the big guy's coming now. All right, let's see what what uh, let's see what he smells like. I got some fire spell. Let's come on, guy. You want spaghetti? Oh, he doesn't see me yet. Okay. Looking like Orin from Final Fantasy X over here. Oh, he's got a lot of HP. Oh, okay. All right, guy. You want spaghetti? Ah, he was baby food. Yo, it doesn't help that people who generally do these kind of trades, buying old shit and older people, are older people who don't really play video games and don't know their true value. Yeah, these guys that are jacking up the uh, the retro gaming market, they have no interest or love or passion about video games. They just found a market that looks like it hasn't been, uh, like, uh, what's the word? Hasn't been abused yet or, or uh, I don't even know the right word for it. They found a market where they could trick people. Simple as that, in layman's terms. Yo, that's fire spell cures you from poison and rot. Good find. Hey, I don't do spells though, uh, uh, Alico, uh, Silky. I ain't no magic guy, right? I don't believe in magic. I'm that one. I'm that one character in a world full of magic that doesn't believe in magic. That's my character's backstory. It's all. It's all. Uh, it's all like uh, what's it called? Smoke and mirrors. It's all smoke and mirrors, man. I don't either, but you'll need it for the rot. The rot, you say. For these goats? Look at this guy over here with his curly mustache. I haven't fought one of these things yet. Hey, you can't catch me, guy. Oh, what the? The wheels do damage. Okay. Hey. Oh! He's doing donuts! Ouch. Okay. I knew you were going to run out of gas at some point. Yeah, I can't wait for uh, 2025 when FF Tactics is over 20k in Canadian Dulons. All right. All right. Let's see where we're heading. Which way were we going? We're going to this place? Raya, Crystal. No, I'm trying to go to this spot right here. This looks like a castle. Usually castles have bosses. Oh, there's more marks up here. A bunch of marks. Yeah, they're in a circle. They're gonna see me. Come on, guys. Let's just fight. Let's just go this over with. Do this the easy way or the hard way? It doesn't really matter to me.
doesn't really matter. Magic is actually pretty good in this game, which is surprising because Dark Souls 3 magic was ass cheeks. Yeah, it wouldn't make a difference to me, though. I don't do magic, man. We don't do magic here. We're brave hearts. We fight for it with our fists or with our swords. That's it. No magic. No magic in the bravery arcade, all right? Unless you pick Rose and Street Fighter, but then not even. You can only do uh, <laughs> you can only do her her basic attacks. No magic allowed. Magic Knights is the way I roll. Yeah, yeah, you could be a Magic Knight. That's cool. That's cool, I guess. Let's see how hard these guys are. Get him out of here. He's baby food. Oh, they got a leader. You guys got a leader. All right. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. We tanking, baby. We tanking. No magic. Guess who's Bazak? Oops, I ran out of spell slots. Time to start beating the shit out of people with my fist. <coughs> oh, that's what happens in Dark, in Dark Souls 3. Now, you actually got me wanting to play the Dark Souls series just because you had mentioned that uh, all the lore stuff. So I'm actually very curious to play it now. Oh, this isn't a castle. This is a grace site or whatever. Wait, did I just say, could this be, be love? That's a Bob Marley song. Could this be a lover? Oh, okay. Church of Vows. Okay. Hey, there's a giant turtle over here. You are tarnished, aren't you? I get no, I'm tarnished. To the, church of the remastered always on sale on PC for like 12 bucks. Of this yeah, I'm going to play it, man, eventually. I wouldn't mind playing Bloodborne again on uh, 60 frames. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? No, I don't know. Well, that is a shame. Why are you even asking me? I only have but one I option. Can blame you. The shattering has caused us all of us. And now in three, it's Start like more like, oops, my magic does a like hundred damage in my it sword. Let's so quadruple in that one swing. <laughs> That the great they have magic in in um in Bloodborne, but I've never seen anyone actually do it. I've never seen anyone actually use the magic in Bloodborne, and it seems pretty hard to get <coughs> to get spells in that game. I never even got not one spell in Bloodborne when I played it. Maybe it was because of my build, but I don't, I don't remember even picking it up or even how to pull it off. Oh, was there something you needed? What do you do? You sell stuff? To show yourself around. I would serve as your Running out of slots and then restoring to just raw violence is more of a Dragon Souls 1 thing. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless perhaps okay. you are in search of instruction. In which case I will share all that I know. Uh, study sorcery. Give a scroll. Give about Ra Ragadon. Oh, this is to enchant my... Oh, he enchants your weapons, huh? I don't know if that counts as magic, but... Um, I'm not going to do it. Study incantation. Yo, I love this game, but Bloodborne has my favorite aesthetic and lore in this whole series games. Yeah, bro. Yo, Bloodborne's lore and aesthetic. Oh, my God. I was just jizzing about that the other day with Jake Adoski. We were talking about Frenzy because he had gotten Frenzy, and I was like, yo, dude. Frenzy has such a lore story element to it in Bloodborne. It's so dope. Where, like, the insight the, means how smart you are. And the smarter you are, the more crazy you get from uh, Frenzy. That's crazy. That's a cool little gameplay. That's, that's a cool way of tying the lore into the gameplay. Like, really cool. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like a, sanity, a sanity meter in, like, uh, Eternal Darkness. Bloodborne's aesthetic is great, but I'm unfamiliar with the lore. Go look up the lore. It's so freaking good. So freaking good. Go watch all the Vati video videos. That's all you pretty much need to do. Golden sewing needle. Hmm. Okay. Golden tailor tools. 
Oh, can I get golden armor? Is that what it pretty much is for? You don't need absolution. Oh, I guess that's uh, from Curse. Basically, cosmic horror, Taco. Yeah, it's Cthulhu. The mechanic is meant to be like a Cthulhu thing since it's cosmic horror. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool because Bloodborne doesn't start off as a cos cosmic horror. It doesn't reveal itself as a cosmic horror until you beat, uh, I forgot the guy's name, the, the, the giant spider boss. Is there something else? Uh, give a scroll. Academy scroll. Give a, I'm not going to give him anything. I might give him the wrong thing. Dragon Cult Prayer Book. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territory. Also, Marv, do not hurt the turtle. He is the best, and, and I will not forgive you to kill him. I'm not killing any more people after... Harmonia said if I can be, if he can use me as an example in one of his YouTube videos explaining how we abuse NPCs. <laughs> he actually, he actually sent me that message on Discord earlier today. He's making a video about NPC characters and he's like, Marv, you, you mind if I mention how you <laughs> totally killed that f first NPC for nothing? <laughs> I was like, uh, damn, you're making me look like a horrible human being. I'm a brave all, baby. We defend the weak, but... He called me Maidenless guy. <laughs> he, this man's making a YouTube series. <laughs> He's using me as an example. <laughs> Yo, it's tight that in Bloodborne, the more ma madman's knowledge you, you do uh, take, the more crazy shit you see in Yarnum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a sanity meter, man. It's a sanity meter, for real. It's pretty cool. And it's subtle. It doesn't even tell you that it, what it is. And I think I asked you, Silky, like, yo, should I be using this madman's knowledge shit? And you were like, yeah, use it. Or not madman's knowledge. There's, like, some some pickups you get that that, that uh, give you insight. And I was like, should I take it? And you were like, yeah, take it, man. I was like, damn. Silky making the game freaking harder for me. Because I see the enemies, uh, like, do different attacks when you, when you have a lot of insight. All right. So that wasn't nothing special in there. I mean, you guys go to... Got to go to church and whatnot, but uh, let's check out these golden trees over here. There has to be like a boss or something over there. Yo, you get more echoes though. Oh, all right, yeah, that, that's that's good then. I didn't know that part either. Hey, guy. I think I can level up. Let me see. We gonna level up on a Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Uh, yeah, we're gonna be a little bit stronger over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Forty-one strength. Actually, I do think I might need endurance, though. Nah, we good on endurance. Yo, go in the church again. Yo, Taco Tuesday, Rorello. Yeah, yeah, it's Taco Day. You know, I had a burrito earlier, but Taco's cool, too. Wow, what's in here? This guy died? I can atone now? Did I sin? I don't need absolution. Do you need anything? Yeah, Pope Turtle goes on the list of souls, NPCs that shouldn't be killed. Not for gameplay reasons, but because I like them too much. Well, Renala, he knows about stuff. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria. The great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken. Does does Pope Turtle fight back if I hit him? And then, I wouldn't mind a boss fight with this guy. Against the royals, it looks like he's gonna do like Bowser attacks. 
<laughs> Imagine you gotta swing him by his tail like Mario 64. Alright, yeah, I mean, what are, what are you told me to come back to the church for? Uh, sign change? Uh, the tree? But yeah, Turtle Pope goes on. Oh, I already read that one. No, because there's a fantasy Christian and thus he's a fantasy Christian and thus is a pacifist, which makes killing him really sad. Oh, interesting. It's interesting to know. Oh, yeah, there is a castle here. Okay. What is this guy? Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. You guys want spaghetti? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even do nothing. That was a trap. Short range. I need a sword, man. I don't like this mace that much. Okay, they got a lot of range, brah. And I got no more flask? Oh, what the hell? I'm on the wrong thing. I gotta roll in and attack. Damn it, too late on the roll. Shit, shit, shit. They're kicking my ass over here. All right. Oh, baby. Cyclops, baby. This guy's summoning the freaking sector over here. Spino, I mean. <coughs> okay. Are they coming back to life? Oh, they come back to life. I forgot, you freaking skeletons, you gotta hit them one more time. Jesus. All right. I let the wizard come back to life. Why are you backing up? Come on, let's fight. Who are you summoning? Ah! These guys took all my flask. And like that, if you stop attacking, I'll, if you stop attacking me, I'll forgive you everything you did. Oh, he forgives you if you hit him. <laughs> wow, that's a nice turtle. Oh boy, of all the mechanics from Dark Souls 1 you bring back, you bring back the stupid reviving skeletons mechanic. Yeah, man, that's like some Mario 3 jazz right there, right? There should be a great site close by, though. I saw a castle. Where's the castle at? I just where I just saw. Oh, there it is. Oh, how the jet. Oh, it's not a castle. It's a turtle <laughs> with a castle on its back. Okay. What the hell's shooting at me? Music's going into like. Uh. Oh, something's nearby. Oh, there's the castle over there. Okay. That was a that was a little trial, huh? That was a little trial right there. Let's see how get our flash back. It's one good thing that that they have over this that this game has over Bloodborne. Finding flash is a pain in the ass. Jump out the window. That's a giant cat. Wait, is that a guy? It is a guy. No, it's a bird. Eh, I don't got. I don't got beef with birds. Another castle over there too. Ooh, but it doesn't look like I can make it over there. Yo, this is some Game of Thrones castle jazz over here. Hey, come on, pick it up. Stormhawk feather. All right, how the jazz do I get over? Oh, okay, that bridge is like, uh, I don't know if my horse can super jump. Is this the edge of the map? Uh, how the? 
Oh, I can make it over there from here. I mean, George R. R. Martin did do writing, did some writing from uh, for this game. I heard he wrote the backstory, and then um, he wrote all the lore parts. And uh, what's his name? Uzumaki or whatever his name is wrote the actual game. Um, so yeah, it looks like I can make it over there from here. And it looks like that will lead me all the way up hither. That bridge is broken, so I'm not going to even attempt that. Academy Gate Town? I don't know if I've... Uh, have I been through? Well, I got the... I got the freaking uh, Grace there. Mia Miyazaki. I honestly forgot he wrote stuff. George R. R. Martin is from Bayonne, New Jersey, bro. He's a Jersey guy. So, uh... You know, shout out to Jersey's from Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones world is just Jersey. <laughs> the North is just Patterson. <laughs> okay, all right. The North is just North Jersey. All right, let's let's uh, let's go this way. Wait, I thought George Amar was from New Mexico. Nah, he's from Bayonne, New Jersey, guy. Yo, it do be cold as shit here. <laughs> All right. Uh, this, this town is under Agua. Oh, hell no. I ain't fighting no lobsters. Uh, I can't make it up there. Okay. What's up, guys? Oh, one of them saw me. Oh, he threw a Granada. Medieval Granada. Yo, get the seed, you mark. I think I already picked it up, Silky. I think I already picked it up because I was, I, was, I was tapping triangle and it didn't do anything. Ah, why do I even bother with that? Yeah, no, I'm not fighting the crab right now, Taco. I got, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have the energy for it. What the jazz kind of Mario freaking golden thing was that? Oh, and I'm dead. No, I'm alive. Hold up, sit up in your chair, Marv. This guy's got a crossbow. Okay. Come down here and fight me, guy. Another yeah, baby food. Can I use this contraption? <laughs> Imagine you can mount turrets like a like a freaking action game. What's back hither? Mm, jump off. Uh, okay. So more guy over there. Hey, guy. Oh, one of them behind the sticks. Two of them over here, right? Yeah, two right here. Did I pick up any more of the throwing uh, throwing weapons? Crystal darts. I don't have any crystal darts. I don't have any of that. Are these throwing weapons? Bloodbone arrow? No, I need an arrow for that, right? Oh, one of you guys uh, aggro already. Oh, no. Nah. Whoa, they're already both too. That works. Come on. Other one coming? I uh, hear him. Ah, oh, man. Yo, that's your Souls game with a turret in it, and I can't remember what it was. It might have been Sekiro. Oh, Bloodborne. Yeah, Bloodborne has a turret. That guy that was shooting me off that rooftop, he had a, uh, a turret Gatling gun, and uh, you could use it, I think. I mean, there's no point to using it, but... At least I don't remember there being a point to using it.
Oh, oh, oh! Damn, you hit hard, guy. Give me that great sword. All right, a whole camp over here. Got a Metal Gear, this jazz. Metal Gear. You knew? Okay, I thought for a second I was remembering something from a dream. Yeah, Bloodborne has a, has a lot of uh, machinery. It's like a steampunk Victorian era jazz going on over there. Come on, guy. Let's fight like gentlemen. I think they got a lot of stun on them. I got I got pants. Raya Lucarian Greaves. Uh, because ever since Elden Ring came out, I have been having dreams about Souls games. I've been having these weird dreams lately. Like, is any of this for real? Uh, versus physical. Uh, slash pierce strike. I don't even know what none of this stuff means, really. Nah, I'm sticking with what I got. Wait, did I pick up any other gear? Oh, I got this fire monk. Oh, yo, I thought that said mark for an armor uh, for a minute. I was like, I'm not wearing this <laughs> fire armor, but it does a lot. Um, yo, I can't remember any of them, though. Uh, let me see. Oh, no, I can't wear this. this is a dress. Actually, no, it looks, it looks all right. I could wear this. I got a little fur. It looks like a wizard armor, though. I'm not really a wizard guy. Got a little robe. A little robe action going on over here. Oh, I like that armor. I like the fur. I'm not big on the robe, but... Uh, I like I, your stealth point should go down when you wear this. <laughs> You're a sore thumb wearing this outfit. I guess uh, you know this game ain't about looks. Look, I went right behind them. Is there anybody in the sides? No. Oh well, there goes my freaking Metal Gear idea. How I walk right past him? That was an epic fail. Come on, guys. Aggro turned off. Oh, Granada. I don't know if I can fight two of them. Let's try to use the trees to my advantage. Come on, come over here. Camera is not very good in this game. See if this goes good with my uh, my red my red hoodie. Nah, this, this, this is way too much protection from this thing. Yo, it makes me think of how in Dragon Quest Eight you can make a robe that's made out of fire wrap pelt. Fire wrap pelt make the best uh, make the best robes, honestly, if you think about it. I guess you can't, you can't sneak these guys. I guess you can't sneak them. I don't know how they have like machinery like this in this medieval time period thingy. You can shoot fire through a wall. And there's a bow and arrow guy over here. That fire through the wall shit is bullshit. And there's another one. Hold on a second. Before you guys overwhelm me over here. I 
There he is. Come on. Come on, guy. Oh, you can break fences. Jesus Christ. Let's fight where no one is. Dragon Ball Z Jazz. Where is he? The ag world yet? Enemies being able to hit through walls even when they clearly shouldn't is a soul staple. Yeah, that was some bullshit right there. God darn it. Don't fight me over here, mechanical bullcrap, whatever you are. Watch the fire go through this wall. The Ag Road? Uh, I'm not sure if he did or didn't. Fight me like a man. Be a man, Hulk. Earlier today, I was playing Dark Souls Remastered while I was fucking around in Anordolando. A titanic demon swung his pole at me and hit me even though I was in a different room. <laughs> That's awesome. What's this? A magic gate? Oh, I don't think I can't even open this spot. I'm about to resurrect all the enemies around me. Uh, can I level up? Did I get an XP? No, barely. Uh, can I? Can I open this or nah? Meeting place map. You found a simple map. Check your inventory. Okay. I can't. There's a magic barrier on this wall. Meeting place map. Okay. Just check your inventory. Look how the map's at. Oh, meeting place map. Uh, well, I can't use it. Uh, what the? I can't zoom in. Ew. And those fuckers are hard, especially when you have an upgraded vitality. Once in your entire playthrough, and you're playing a cleric. It's just like some island. The man it came from surely desired one, the sole means of gaining entry into the academy, a glintstone key. We are glintstone kids. Uh, can I zoom in on it at least? Uh, all right, so an island by a castle. So I'm in front of a castle. So is there an island? There's a few. I'm going to assume it's here. Or it could be this over here. I think it's this. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, that's an island. It's probably this. We also have a marker. Yeah, it has to be that one. Let me look at that again, though. Can I zoom in? Like, what's the jazz? All right, it looks like a little ruins to the to the bottom of it, which could be that sunken city that we were looking at. So it has to be over there. Don't I have a glintstone key in my inventory, though? I picked up so much jazz in my lifetime playing this game. Where are the keys at? Mm, 
Rusty Key, Godric's Great Throne, uh, Glenstone Craftman Cookbook. Mm -hmm. False Sorcerers. Academy Scroll. So, a category of the Grinstone Sorcerer's place of study can be given to a learned sorcerer to gain full access of to the fallen sorcery. Okay. All right. Well, it's even telling me to go in that direction. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Can I just jump? Nah, negative. We are Flintstone kids. Oh, I got a new shield. Nice. Hey, guy. You want to see my new shield? Who the hell is shooting at me? Some guy down there. What the? It's a plant of some sort. This is all red. Shield do I have now? Oh, this shield's a lot better. That makes my load heavy, though. I got a heavy load. So many sexual jokes you make with that. It's the gallon guy, guy who rolled off the roof. Nah, nah, nah. I would. I hope I never see that guy again. What a cock tease. Wait, was there something on the floor there? Nah. Hmm. Cast up that mountain there, there too. I'm gonna have to rewatch that vlog because I don't remember that at all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was the thing. I mean, it's been so long, man. Hard to believe 2020 was two years ago. But that's when I started playing Bloodborne in 2020. And that was my comeback stream. I had took a giant hiatus for all of 2019. Bloodborne was my comeback game. Wait, who's this guy? Is that a guy? What the hell? You, please, I can read them. Your finger. Yeah, we had a time skip. <laughs> Okay. Oh, bless you. Who's this lady? Michaela's favor can be yours. Slaughter. 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 The all hearing slaughtered. But was for naught. But all you need do is snatch it from the big pot. <laughs> What's this lady's thing? The poor, poor fool. <laughs> okay. Um, this doesn't look like a jump I could make either. Hmm. Oh, I get down here. No shortcut. There's a the cliff down there. Hmm. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I have no idea what the fall damage limit is. Crazy. Bloodborne was my pan first pandemic game. Then it was uh, Resident Evil 3. Then Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I'm sure everybody remembers that stream pretty well. 
And then, uh... I don't even remember what we played after that. What the hell was going on in there? This looks like the stuff from... From freaking, uh... Is this poisonous water? Rose Church. Oh, somebody came out of the water over there. Holy shit! What the hell? Who are these guys over here? The aliens! I thought you guys were only in Bloodborne. Damn, homie. What's up with you, guy? Okay, poisoned or nah? Okay. Can't keep backing up on him, but I got freaking add-ons that are annoying as hell. Ah, you son of a gun. All I remember from Final Seven Remake was us talking about our waifus. That's what that game is. It's a waifu simulator, bro. It's a waifu sim. It's a waifu simulator. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Tifa's best girl, don't at me. I don't know. Jesse was giving her giving her competition. Jesse's a little more bubbly. Tifa's got the, the bigger assets. I will say that. That's uh that's a fact. No argument there. Okay, where are these marks at? I got caught off guard. Big time. Where the hell did they even come from? Some glowing jazz in the air. I don't even see them. Also, I'm pretty sure the red shirt is a rot. Oh, the one I'm wearing right now? Can't you read, mister? The red shit is a rot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely can't read. <laughs> well, my souls are here. The enemies are not. I didn't have that many souls to begin with. Oh, you're saying this red shit is a rot. Uh, doesn't, that's not rotting. <laughs> okay, so the minute I step foot in the church is when this all the enemies spawn. Uh, if I take out the, if I take out the, the sniper first. Rose church. Where do the other guys come from? Okay, I see you guys. We can do backflips. Boy, they're not fucking around. Let's talk about this, guys. Okay. Conversations are over. You're spitting everything at me. Let's go this way. This is something poking out of my body. Okay, that's uh, not very attractive to have this thing poking out of my body like this. Got a lot of HP there, ninja guy. You come this way. Come on, guy, let's go. You want spaghetti? Swing. Get out of my face. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dead. Oh, uh, I think I'm not supposed to roll when I have like some status effect like that. Yeah, the red shirt guy spread on the ground. I think that's a rot. That's rot, uh, which I assume works like curse in the Dark Souls games. And if it does, avoid it at all costs. Well, I got to pick up that jazz right there. Blood Rose. I got a Blood Rose. 
seeing the rose motif in uh, this game is uh, there's something up with the roses. How are these guys so nimble? What's your angle, guy? You freaking pale blood over here. All right, so I think I was supposed to go in here for something. Uh, I don't know what I picked up. I pressed triangle really fast. Because curse in Souls games permanently halves your health until you fix it and it prevents you from using humanity. Using humanity. Okay. Something shimmering, some sound thing over here. I'm not sure what I picked up just now. Did I pick up a glintstone key? What are the talents for? Did I equip this? Enhances guard counters. Oh, I do equip. Uh, I can't use it though. What did I just pick up? I probably picked up the rose thing, right? Bloody slash. I wish they would show you your last pickup. Flame cleanse me. Incantation. No, we don't do magic over here. Uh, cracked pot. Uh, rusty key. Dragon heart. Crystal's cookbook. Map. Uh, not a map. No glintstone key though. All right, glintstone craft craftsman's cookbook. Okay, so I don't know. I'm not sure what I actually came here for, and I don't know what I just picked up. I gotta stop pressing triangle so fast. Mm, messages? Maybe some messages. No. No, these are the shits I read. These are not like the log. All right, uh, all right, I don't, I don't know, I'm not sure, man. The game doesn't have the humanity system, but in Dark Souls 1 and 2, humanity can be used to heal yourself, make bonfires stronger, and allow yourself to play multiplayer in Dark Souls 1, increase your max health in Dark Souls 2. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of humanity, don't you? You really do. Golden room, tarnished fingers. Uh, I thought this might have been the island where they were trying to make me go, but I guess not. Doctor Three has the embers instead, which is best of both worlds. Touch the blood stain. Uh, Generic blood clot. Okay. A generic blood clot. Mushrooms. This this couldn't have been the thing on the map that they told me to go to. Yeah, but I wish I'd let you zoom in on that. Mm, Rose Church. It does indeed seem like it might have been it, but it might have been. Let me look at that map again. My inventory.
Look at the landmarks. There's a sunken, sunken city, like, to the bottom. The big bridge, which is definitely that place I was just in where I picked up this map. And when I say increase your max health, it actually does that in three. But in two, if you die, your max health gets lowered and you use humanity to fix it. Gotcha. We got Sunken City. We got, uh, we got two islands next to each other. Maybe I'm close. Maybe I'm on the other island. Could be this. Could be this place right here. I can't even hit this thing. Blood flame blade. Okay. We got a little, little, little headache. The uh, little moat stick is following that guy around. There's a sunken city. Okay, then I have to be close. Temple Quarter. I've not been here before. Anything of interest? Uh, treasure chest right there. This must be the Elden Ring. Uh, ice Ring Hatchet. Okay. Does look a lot like a boss fight zone too. I assume it lets your sword uh, on fire and makes itself bleed damage. I guess so. I guess so. No level up yet. Okay. What are the flying things over here? Oh, they're in the air now? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. point of those things see if only Soki were here because he actually knows this game I don't think he's oh what the hell the dragon over here I don't think Soki would tell me anyway he doesn't want to spoil anything which I'm like no spoil it dude I don't care <laughs> all right am I ready to fight a dragon I've yet to fight a dragon in this game my frame rate is dropping <laughs> Soki, just suffer. Just suffer your mark. That's Soki. Hey, guy. I actually do want to fight you. Let's see what happens. Uh, fighting on the horse is so uh, sucky. Shit! 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 Okay. Where's your hitboxes, guy? Right there? Okay. Mm, okay. Can't tech. There's one part of this game I don't want to spoil because knowing about it beforehand ruins it. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's usually, that's usually what spoilers are, right? <laughs> that's usually what spoilers are. There's something that ruins the story. I misread, misread the boss's name as Glintstone Dragon Smog. How dare you? Can't you read? Can't you read, Taco? 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 <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. It feels like you do have to fight him on the horse, but I'm not sure. Could have got some free hits in the beginning, I think. Heck yeah! Come on! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> Got a few free hits in there. Okay, that, that, that damaged me and the horse. He's an ice dragon. That's the glintstones are blue. They're icy. Horse is down. Horsey down. Come on, hit him, bro. What the hell? Camera sucks. Too early on that roll. Too early on the roll again. Glintstone is what powers sorcery in his game, at least I think. Wow, you don't get paid to think, Taco. You get paid to know, so you better figure this out. Actually, no, Taco. You don't get paid at all, so you don't have to figure this out, man. It's just crazy. Find a freaking dragon. Find a freaking drago. Okay, let's go. That's not super familiar with... I'm not super familiar with this game's lore. Only thing I know for certain is that Radon is an absolute Giga Chad. I have yet to encounter this Radon. But he sounds like a Chad. Sure sounds like it. Put my souls right in front of the boss, huh? Oh, free hits are gone. Okay. Wait, I got summonings, right? I can summon. We'll do that after the horse falls. All right, I could avoid it if I stay in the middle of them. Oh, you can jump it too, man. That's dope. I forgot there's a jump button in this game. Not today. <laughs> Come on. Wake up. Why don't you put on a little makeup? Oh, he got me that time, though. All right, all right, you got me. Yeah, you got me. It's all right, you got me. You got me. Uh, you guys think I should sneak attack him from behind, like while he's uh sleeping? If I had a nickel for every time I saw a dragon in a Souls game who had strongly associated with sorcery, I'd have two nickels, which is a lot. But it's weird that it happened twice. 
Yeah, this is my first Souls Dragon that I'm fighting, so. It's a little awkward fighting it. You gotta kick the ankle, cut the ankles off. Let's try going from behind. I mean, I was doing a right right there. I probably could have jumped off the horse and started summoning. Yeah, boy, that's how you do it. early on the roll there. Too late on the jump there. Uh, horse strat is definitely the strat. Horse strat is definitely where it's at. The horse strat is definitely where it's at. Uh, I just go right up to it. I got more hits in last time. I just don't think this could be any possibly any more awkward to fight on a horse. Awkward ass horse combat. Ah, I jumped at that time. Oh, nice crit. Oh, okay, got me that time. Fire. Gonna shoot the fire. Oh, you're going even further back. Now he's gonna shoot fire from the sky. Holy moly guacamole. Blue flames, huh? Ah, he got me from the chin. I mean, right on the chin. Ah, yeah, you got me on the chin again. Shit, shit, shit! Damn it. There's quite a few dragons in the Souls games, despite them supposedly being extinct in the backstory of Dragon Souls 1. Gaping Dragon, Seath, Calamit, Sin, the Ancient Dragon, Meteor. That one nameless dragon that lets you join a covenant and become a dragon man. I like that one Asian dragon that lets you become a, and join a covenant and become a dragon man. He sounds cool. Of all of them that you named right there. Sounds just about the coolest. Just about the coolest right there. Okay, he got me good that time. Just jumping in general seems to like uh, work pretty well. Except for when it doesn't.
Happy I avoided that one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, got me there, buddy. Strike. You can cut his tail and wield it as a great sword. What is this freaking monster hunter? There's a monster hunter. You can cut off their tails and shit. This is monster hunter, isn't it? It's monster hunter. Where's my soul's at? All the way over here. Yeah, he's getting up early, isn't he? No, oh, he's actually not. Shit. Pissed him off, didn't I? Hit him, man. Camera? No, no. All right, jumping off of that is not the way. He's gonna fly away. I was wrong. Whoa, baby. Cyclops, baby. Maybe I should summon people now. Where do I hide from the blue flames? Too far. He's going to shoot blue flames at me. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, wait. Maybe not. What are you shooting at me? All right. That didn't actually hit me. Oh boy, there's no avoiding that. You can also do that to other dragons, Dark Souls, not all of them, but a decent chunk give you that option to be a dragon man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd want to be a dragon man, man. I mean, dragons are awesome. They are the coolest of everything, but I'm more of a wolf kind of guy. You know, the brave hearts of the wolves. That's always been my angle. You know, now wolf with wings that can breathe fire. Now that that's a little more my angle. To get off the trail, use it like a weapon. Oh, you meant oh, you meant the call the tail thing. I'm already a dragon man. You definitely are. Taco the magic dragon lives by the sea. Hit him, hit him. Ah, 
thought I was getting good at dodging that, and I am not. Take him to the air. He's going to shoot ice. Oh, not yet. Ah, it's hitting me with his face when he does that shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I actually lived through it, though. This time. Oh, not through this one, maybe. Oh, yeah, I actually did. Okay. We're summoning, folks. Ah, bad time to summon. Come on, Godric soldiers. Show them what you got. Don't die to this blue flame shit. It is fast. And there's trees. And I'm running out of stamina. Ah, oh, you son of a... That, oh, that, 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 that. Did he kill my summonings already? He killed them already. How inconvenient. Of you to kill my summoning guys. What the flip flappy warped? Where the hell did you warp to? Did you go back to your north natural position? Well, at least I get my horse back, but Jesus. You better not get HP back. He got all his HP back? Oh, no, he didn't. No, he's getting some of it back. Come on, guy. Guy, what is going on here? Hit him, bro. Well, we got to run. We're missing opportunities to hit him. kill for me so gotta be careful Samog is his name huh he's almost down though Samog more like some mark come on shit oh god damn it all right Taken to the air. Where the hell is he? Where the hell is he? Don't walk away again. Can't afford to have you heal up now. Please don't do blue flames on me. There you go. That's what I like. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. There you go. Down you go, darling. When you start making new. Yo, when's Monster Humba? I got a dragon heart. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? When you stop making fake new at Alucard. I, mean, I don't know what that really means. I don't know. When's Monster Hub tag? <laughs> I don't know what Alucard is talking about half the time. I hear something glowing. 
Uh, what's glowing? Is that this thing? Not particularly interested in those. More of the Dragon Slayer! <laughs> yeah, it's me, man. I slay dragons, y'all. What's this? I got ku Kukri. Kukri? I'm a little spooked, to be honest. It's contagious, Azuki. Now you can't spell, and I blame Marv. Dragon Wand Grease. Look at this guy over here. Oh, we got the Glintstone Academy key. Yeah, he's not hes not in the mood for conversation, this guy right here. Doesn't look like he's in the mood for conversation. Doesn't look like he's in the mood for conversation. Uh, We had a warp, though, right? Yeah, we had a warp in that spot over there. Well, at least I found the island, man. That's pretty cool. Uh, So we're warping back over here. Pretty awesome. We took out our first dragon in in uh, in, in an, a Souls game. First Souls dragon. There's no dragons in Bloodborne, so never got to experience that. That's pretty cool. And Bloodborne is a lot of like light control like type of enemies. All righty then. Let's heal up. Let me use a little Braveheart's room. Gonna do a BRB real quick. What do you guys know about BRBs? BRBs are pretty cool. BRB. Fight the powers that be. Gotta get this. Reckless, gotta check this when I wreck it. Think before you get it away. Ain't no exception. Sure, you can lay. Infectious, yet the freshest and the restless. Check this. What you mess with is a death wish. Let's get ready because you can't stop mind chain. Saw stop sign on your back, blind side. Walk like a tank. Hit like a tank. Now for the way with the money to the bank. Crush, kill, destroy your opponent. I'm a survivor. Only component. Zoning. Gotta make it to the next moment. Equip a new shield. Mm, okay. Let me see something. I did pick up a new shield that I wanted to wear. Ah, uh, makes me still makes me a heavy load. A heavy load. All right. So I'm assuming I can open this gate now, right? The like glintstone key. Examine seal. Hey, we did it. Oh, it's a cutscene, huh? There's a cutscene over here. Look at this, guys. We've got a little cutscene. A little cut, a little cutty cutty over here. I, a, I think this is the first in game loading screen I've seen. 
I don't know where that's going to take us. It's taking pretty long to load, too. Lake Salunari. I thought I've been here already before. Okay. All right, now we're uh, we're uh, we're in a place. Where, where are we on the map? I guess I just had to load up this whole area. Oh, so those are those going to be loading screens now? Oh, okay. So there are going to be loading screen sections in this map in this game, or maybe it's only because it's the PS4 version. Interesting, interesting. Sit that's grace. Yeah, and then we're out. We have to sit here already leveled up. And there's another gate over there. But we're going to go inside, see what's up in here. I'm a little spooked, to be honest, says Tokzuki. We're going up on a Tuesday, guys. Any enemies anywhere to be seen? Negative. Oh, it's it's like foggy out here. Academy of Raya Lucaria. They got a lot of uh, a lot of bird cages out here, huh? I guess it's a real birdo bird school for the birds. Must be an all girl school. Got a lily. Oh wait, there's there's mages up there. You know what I don't like? I don't like mages. Yo, just dude, just became a brave oh god. Yo, Jace. What up, my guy, Jace? How you doing, homie? I'm over here getting my tail kicked by some mages over here, and they killed me. <laughs> I'm good, man. Thank you for becoming a brave heart. God, Jace. You have ascended, man. Appreciate that, brother. You have ascended. Yeah, man. Look at that. I'm over here. Yo, you, yo Jace, you uh, you play Bloodborne games? You play uh, Souls games? What's up, man? I, I pay good money to watch you play these games, man. Ah. Pay some good money to watch you play this game. See, you go through the frustration that I go to over here. No wind blowing. Uh, just fine. Cleaning my room and set up my green screen. Tomorrow I'm going to set up some lights. Yo, Jay's got the stream a set up, baby. Just Jay's. You're, you're a streamer, man. You're a real streamer. I'm just a, a wannabe. Woof. Look at my shield. My shield goes upside down. I don't know if that's a good way to hold your shield. I feel like you can break your wrist on some attacks. I don't play these type of games. You should try it like one time though. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. The levels of frustration that you go to in this type of jazz, bro, is crazy. Let me bring it down just in case I got to go up again. Uh, I got to press the. Okay, so let's try. Let's try going up and getting aggressive. These mages. Oh, oh, oh it's like fire from above. Yeah, let's get aggressive. Yeah, they're 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 phonies. Marv only played it when he lost his eye. Yo, is drunken card here already? Cause holy crap, you're typing some crazy jazz. Lost an eye and also lost his old building. 
Thanks for the host, just jeez. Uh, how come I didn't get a sound effect for that? Oh, look, there's, some, there's a guy over here, too. Probably some sneaky guys on the side, too. Yeah, I figured. Oh, God damn. I am. Ah, oh, drunken card in the building, baby. Everybody say what's up the drunken card. Jesus. Yeah, these guys are pretty mad, man. I don't know. I don't know why it's so mad. I get it. Trying to stay up, but between work, girlfriend, I've slept only like 12 hours in the past four days. <laughs> what you guys been doing over there? <laughs> what you and your lady been doing? All righty. I'm going to just lurk now. I got to go eat. Yeah, man. Eat some good eats, bro. Good eats. Eat some goodies. Look, it gets foggy when you get up here. Academy of Raya Lucaria. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Jesus, you guys are something else, man. Alright, I got a dart for the uh for the guy back there. The dirtiest things you ever heard of. We play tic-tac-toe without lights on. <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh, these guys are the worst. On his three of them. Let me get my souls and drag them outside. Maybe I can fight them one by one. You guys coming? Let's go. Okay. Oh, you got a nice reach on you, buddy. You guys don't hit each other? Fucking robots. Ew. Freaking robots, bro. What the hell? Where's the other one? There's one more in there. Come on, guy. Let's let's do this. Let's fight like gentlemen. They're not that hard on their own. Yo, I have returned. My quest for the Chaos Blade has still bore no fruit, sadly. Oh, maybe next time, Takzuki. What's over here? Sombering smithing stone. Okay. Sombering stones. Somber is sadness. So uh, a sombering stone is a crying stone. What's down here? Oh, another heels. Picture of the Pope. I wonder if that's, that's Pope Turtle before he became a turtle. Oh, I forgot I brought them all back to life when I did that. Shit. Fucking bullshit. Why did I bring them back to life? Boy? Why did I do that? Where's the last one? No, you're here. Where are you? Oh, he's hanging up there. Okay. Golden rune. Okay, so where where to next then? Is there another floor? Pope Turtle was always a turtle, but he was always well was he always a Pope? Oh yeah, you're right. He had to have gotten nominated, right? It's like a presidency. Hmm. 
I guess we're going outside. Ooh, look at that. There's a skeleton guy there. I wonder why they didn't just call this game Dark Souls 4, but now that you mentioned that all the Dark Souls games take place in the same world, I guess that's why. Do you revisit locations in um in Dark Souls 3 from Dark Souls 1, Taco? Also, Pulp Turtle's real name is Muriel. Muriel. That's a good turtle. That's a good name for a turtle. It's a good turtle name. Hey, skeleton dude. Oh, look at this guy over here. Try to sneak me, man. What's your problem, guy? Actually, yes, in Dark Souls 3, you return to Ando Londo, and it's a big fucking deal. That's pretty awesome. I like when games do that. In Metal Gear Solid 4, you return to Shadow Moses, and it's like the most epic thing ever. Oh, these, these skeletons don't come back to life. I guess they're more like zombies than skeletons. Grace mimic. Oh, can I imitate a grace with that? Mm, can't jump up there. I was going to ask how do I get over there, but I think that's where I came from. I see the gates open. But in Dark Souls 3, Andalon is completely fucked up for lore reasons. Uh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4 as well when you go back to Shadow Moses. It's frozen over. Oh, a lot of these guys now. Holy crap. Come on, get off me, bro. Don't tase me, bro. So many. Whoa, it's a freaking ton of them. Holy crap. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll play play with you some other time. Still a ton of them. Holy crap. I hope I'm running in the right direction over here. This guy's worshipping a gravestone and... Uh, Lots and lots of homies in here. What's up with that, man? Holy crap, they overwhelmed you with the other homies. Look at this, they're still coming my way. Well, it's places like Castlevania. Look, they got elevators coming out of the ground. Oh my god, lightning thunder Odin? Are you gonna be tough? Uh, it doesn't seem like he's that tough. Heal up though. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I gotta stop pressing freaking triangle so fast. I'm not even looking at what I picked up. Smithering stone. See the dog over there. Is there more? Come on, guy. I freaking die already. Mm, where does that take you? Okay. So it looks like I just got to fall on there. Ooh, platforming! Why is this game got platforming for, bro? Why is this game got platforming, huh?
basically Andalondo is the kingdom of the gods, but all the gods abandoned it except for uh, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, manipulated dude, manipulative dude that he is, makes an illusion of Andalondo as beautiful as a beautiful kingdom instead of the devil divish diviha ugh, <laughs> this heveled abandoned kingdom uh, abandoned crack den it is. And if you shoot Gwendolyn's sister, it is revealed she was also an illusion. And all the illusion fades. Oh my god, that's pretty awesome. You might have ruined Dark Souls for me. Not really. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We ain't doing this again. Going straight for these. Jesus, throwing shit at me. I don't even know where to go. I think I lose my souls out here. I think it was through here that I was supposed to go. Yeah, this was it. No doubt our my good friend has come back to life. Oh, the flap. Okay. Yeah, my good buddy's over there. He's already aggroed. Okay, so just from here. And uh, I can't see too far above me. But I think I'm going the right way. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I made it. No oh, thanks to you. I almost died there. And in Dark Souls 3, the illusion is gone again because the boss of Andolando in 3 is Aldrich, a dude who eats gods and is in the process of eating Gwendolyn as you fight him. Oh my god, not Gwendolyn. Alright, yeah, man. Alright, this is going on here. This is this is happening. This looks very Castlevania-ish over here. Who takes the time out of their day to write all these messages? Oh, there's ice over here. Can you break this? Yeah, I cannot. I have more glintstones right there, right? We're glintstone kids. Hey, guy. Okay. You're mad. Okay, you're mad. Oh, not you guys. Jesus, why is always two of them? Where are your hitboxes, bro? gonna be a monster here all right you know what i think i may be able to upgrade my flask now i don't even know where's uh where's that where's the jazz at i haven't even been checking if i can upgrade my flask or whatnot wait what the hell is a cutscene or something oh I don't have any golden seeds, so I guess that's wrong. All right, well, I, I, I was, you know, I did that, everyone. No sacred tears. Allocate. With this menu, you can allocate number of uses in each of your flasks. 
you have a total set number of flasks, you can decide, oh, I could have been healing a lot more. I'm probably going to reveal the illusion and fight Gwendolyn when I get the opportunity with him with my current DS1. Because if you beat him in the next room, you get a badass miracle that gives you lightning on your weapon. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see something. You know the round table hold? Where's the round table? Because we're Glenstone kids. This guy over here. Can I upgrade my summonings? Or can I upgrade my weapon? Now, look at you. Those eyes tell a story of a challenger who's felled his mark. Find them well. Now lay out your arms. I can upgrade my shield. Oh, wow. But do my defenses go up if I upgrade my shield? Doesn't look like it. Just the attack power with the shield, but how many times am I going to be attacking with the shield? Ashes of War. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gaining from doing this. She has a gift for spirit journey. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. All right, so you got nothing good for me. How about you? Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I can spirit tune the wolves. Oh, wait, no, I don't have uh, any of these grave glove bolts. Wait, I got another one. I got a, an octopus summoning. Oh, this is a lady that lets me lay on her breast. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once yeah. more? Yeah, why not? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. In my Would breath. you like to be held, regardless? Now, come closer. Aww, this is Snoo Snoo. You are. So what do they call this in Dragon Quest? Very warm. I was known. As a deathbed companion, where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble. Ana Orlando also has another important another bit, and that's the giant blacksmith who is so only character is in the, the game that can turn game. boss souls into but weapons. In Dark Souls 3, he dies, and you learn that it was, I was friends... With Andre, he was friends with Andre, who was the other blacksmith. And chased from the place. Pray. Be kind. Ew. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this. As often as it takes. Then good day to you, my dear. All right. Also in Dragon Quest, it's called Puff Puff. I'm pretty sure letting her hold you has a has some negative effect to it. In this game, really? God damn it! She had told me that before I let her hold me. Well, it's only the second time I've done it.
Boy, I haven't been in this room. Have I? You have returned. What I was trying, but I'm typing uh, like uh, I'm trying to type a hundred things at once. Receive power from remembrance. Unusable remembrance. Oh, I don't have any remembrance. Oh, okay. Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. Yeah, she takes five percent of your vigor. Not really a big deal. I don't even know what my vigor is. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring, tainted by the strength of their runes, her children ward. Health. What? Five percent of my health. That is a big deal. Luckily, I got a red hoodie. To your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. Some Ninja Turtle fingers over here. The demigods tarnished. I just realized that thing's alive. No mercy. Have their heads take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Graft, it was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Okay. Now go forth. But as I was saying, it was Dark Souls. It was originally intended that Andre the Blacksmith was gonna be a son of Gwyn, but he would lend you to lead you to the final area. But that was scrapped, and Andre is just a large man now. Ew, he's just a big guy. He's just a big guy. He's just a big guy. Hmm. I don't even think I've ever been in this room either. Hmm. Nobody here either way. That guy looks pretty cool. Too cool for me to talk to. Okay, let's see something over here. What do you know? Battle axe is 124, huh? Uh, knight's armor, weight 10, medium load. Maybe I gotta buy this jazz over here. Um, I'm ready to tell my current load out. Andre is one of the four blacksmiths in the first game. The other three being Giant, Richtart, and Vamos. Hey, I like Vamos. That means let's go in Spanish. And in three, he's the only one. Oh. The only one? Nani? Okay, let's see. Uh, I can't tell if this is stronger than what I got. It's physical is 12. Let me see what I got on now. It's 14, so yeah, this is better. Mm. My helmet is uh, 4.6. I like this red hoodie, but it's only, it's, it's like only 1.4. It does give me more HP though, but don't know if it's worth it. 4.0, 11. Oh no, this is 4.6. 4 4.6 and 7.4. Why didn't you show me a comparison while I'm like over hovering over it? 12.4. I don't even remember what the fuck my armor was now. 3.1. This there's got to be a comparison like screen, isn't there? How does it not compare what I'm wearing right now to what I'm trying to buy?
That's ridiculous. I don't know. Vamos is kind of a dick, actually. He lets you enchant your weapon with fire and chaos, but he's pr actually pretty mean to the player, and it's like, get lost. You're making me lose my focus. Oh, yeah, that's pretty dickish, man. Why would you do that? Okay, I don't want none of this stuff. I don't know. I don't know what none of this stuff is about. I'm not smart enough to compare them on my own. This guy looks pretty sad, man. What's wrong with you? Everyone in here looks so freaking sad, man. <laughs> What's going on? What's down here? Uh, a fall to your death is what's down there. But that's probably where you fight the final boss. Whoa, what's this? Pleased to meet you. The name's Roger. Roger. By trade, but now I'm in this sorry state. I had a little mishap, and now I can't move. As you might guess, it's far from ideal. I had a, I had an, I, I, yeah, I had thought that might have been the case. I thought it wasn't gonna be ideal. I really did. I can heal here, but I can't attack here. Very interesting. Where was I? I was in uh, one of these here, here places. I was here. Main Academy Gate. Church of Cuckoo. No, where the hell was I? South Raya Lucaria Gate. I think it was in the classroom. But to be fair, the area you meet him in is surrounded by seven bone wheels who are the most frustrating enemies in the entire game. So I can understand why he's so grumpy. Yeah, that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it, Taco. I get it. I get it. I get it, man. I get it. You be around annoying freaking enemies. Yeah, you would be pissed too, huh? You'd be pretty pissed yourself, right? And yes, I did count the exact number of bone wheels because I died to them countless times. Countless times. It's more than non-countless times. You die. You die, you go to hell. You go to hell and you die. Will he see me? He saw me. Hey, guy. Yo, their faces are funny as hell. Or their mask. Whatever it is. Metal Gear. It's three of them. Oh, it's four. Okay. You think they had enough enemies in this room? Think they had enough enemies in this room? I don't know, man. But uh, I think it's time for that hit that old dusty trail. Burger King mascot looking asses. Yo, word. They do look like the Burger King mascots. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious and it's awesome. Jesus Christ, did you need that many sorcerers? That's what I was saying. And then a freaking jar swung across the room. Like, what the hell? I don't know. I'm loving this game so far, though. I'm really loving it, man. I'm loving it. I'll be back tomorrow for more. Friday, Emulator Madness. Bloody Roar series. Thursday, maybe some King of Fighters. Wednesday. This game is great. Yeah, this is, this is an awesome game. It's an awesome game. We're definitely going to rate Jake and those. You stick around. Don't leave the, the stream yet. <laughs> I forgot 2BC is back. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourself. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. It's a great game. Still in shock and all. But, uh... I'm trying to think how long it would probably take me to beat this game if I played three hours for every stream of it. Probably a long time, right? Might have to do some Marvin the Morning streams to beat this game. Guess I'm not playing it for the entirety of the year. 
Anyway. New does it. Let's go raid Jake Adoski, man. That's my guy. That is my guy. You can't always have it run as a background game as you play other stuff as this, as this main game. Yeah, which I'm going to do with King of Fighters. That's for sure. Definitely got to play some more King of Fighters. That is 100% for sure. Absolutely. Positively. But yeah, man. It's been super real, guys. It's been super awesome. I can't do the... But it's time for me to hit that old Dusty trail. Make sure you guys stay brave and never say game over. Peace out. Thanks for the raid. Rah, the brave heart warrior. Lads fighting live. Giving me for the sub. Thank you so much, brave heart. Appreciate you. Oh, oh what what's going on? Yo, Takzuki, what's going on?